In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to lean the engine using the Garmin G1000. And what we're going to do is look at the multifunction display on the soft key menu, and we're going to hit the engine button. What that then does is show us a lean button, and we want to lean, so we'll hit that. Now we can see here the information. The first thing we see at the top is a radial gauge and that gauge gives us the RPM of the aircraft with a white, green, and red arc. If the aircraft were uh, turbocharged or had a propeller mixture control, we would see not only a gauge for the RPM, but there would be another one for the manifold pressure. Below this, we can see we've got the exhaust gas temperature for each of the individual cylinders, and right now it's highlighted to cylinder one, as indicated by this blue box and the temperature right now for that uh, select item is 1350 degrees Fahrenheit. Below that we have the CHT or cylinder head temperature again in degrees Fahrenheit it's 350 for cylinder one and these bars will go up and down as the temperature rises and lowers and there's a red line over here to indicate the red line in terms of maximum temperature that any cylinder should not exceed. We've got the fuel flow in gallons per hour below that and then the fuel quantity for the left and right tanks as indicated by these little arrows with the L and R on it and the corresponding amount of fuel and the color regions for uh, red for low, caution range, and normal range in green so 0, 10, 20, and then F for full and you'll need to know for your particular aircraft what does full correspond to. For most Cessna 172 uh, Qs which is a 180 horsepower version. I believe it's 54 gallons is the maximum. So it'll depend on your aircraft. So now let's say we want to lean. What we'll do is hit the uh, cycle select button. And what we can do when we go through is we can see that it moves which cylinder we're looking at and that will change the display for what the corresponding temperatures are. We can also hit the uh, cylinder assist soft key and what that does is tell us what is the delta from peak of lean in degrees Fahrenheit for the uh, first cylinder that gets up to uh, and passes through peak of lean. And so that's what the cylinder assist button does and we can hit that button again to turn it off. Uh, so that's all there is to it. It's really quite simple. There's a very good article on engine leaning by Mike Bush, and it's called The Savvy Aviator Number 59, EGT, CHT, and Leaning. And I'm going to have a link to that, and I'll, I'll put the link on the bottom so that you can go read that article. It's very good, and it goes through some myths and explains some of the physics and science behind what's going on when you lean the engines. Highly recommend it. Um, and finally, I highly recommend this trainer, which is the Garmin Integrated Flight Deck Trainer. Get it for 30 bucks on the Garmin website. Um, that's all there is to it. It's really that simple.